guys, it's me, Trell. Um, so this um, video, right, it's gonna be my deployment experience. How was the deployment? I know a lot of y'all, you know, ask, how's deployment? What's it like me on deployment? So I'm gonna kind of give you a, a little bit of insight of what my deployment was, like the work of, and then like actually being on deployment, and then post deployment, and all that, and readjusting and all that. Um, so I was in the fleet for about a year before I deployed. So my work up was like. Uh, almost a year long it was like I think nine or ten ten months something like that and uh it was it wasn't really fast paced it was pretty drawn out it was, it was pretty slow um but it was a lot of field ops that was in that um because we were on the workup for the 22nd mute so that was my first one I was, I was part of the 22nd mute um so that it comes as a lot getting ready for a mute you have to do a lot of things you have to do amphibious operations so it's working with AAVs getting AAVs doing splashes um it's like doing trap missions raids and all that stuff and it was it was a pretty fun work i got to do a lot of cool stuff um it's, it was really cool you know riding in aavs even though it's pretty um crammed in there and all that stuff it's just pretty cool like um working with you know a whole different like kind of like aspect of the marine corps it was it was cool to experience that and like you know actually you know getting the aav and going in the ocean it's like bobbing up and down it's like a roller coaster and it's just like, oh, your stomach tossing and turning. Like, that's like an experience I'll have forever, you know. I'll be able to share with other people. And it's just a pretty cool story saying, you know, I've been in there and I've done that kind of stuff. But, yeah, that, so we had the workup. And then uh, towards the end of the workup, you know, you'll start getting ready for pre-deployment leave and all that. And before you go on pre-deployment leave, you'll have, like, gear inspection. So you have all your stuff packed and ready to go. And then you go, you'll be able to go home um, for however long they allot, you know, your pre-deployment leave to be and you know you go home and i would definitely recommend take that time to you know decompress and, you know spend as much time as you can with your family your friends and all that you know really enjoy yourself because you're about to go on a deployment and you know you have to you know go do your job and you never know what might happen and all that so i would definitely take the time to you know decompress spend as much time as you can with them and then you know after pre-deployment you come back and then you kind of get all your stuff uh, you know finalize getting all your stuff ready to go um and then you know at times it comes time for you to go so you know you'll um get all your stuff you'll take it you know to the motor pool you get ready um for the buses to come pick you up you know you'll load all your stuff up on trucks and on buses and then uh for me they took us to you know the ship and um actually doing like the workup for it the like the preparation for the deployment you actually get to you know spend some time on ship and kind of like see how life is and stuff like that so you know you kind of know what to expect before you go on deployment but yeah anyway so the, you, you pack all your stuff on both buses they take you to the ship you know you gotta unload all this stuff and it's kind of like it's kind of pretty long process of getting everybody's stuff on ship and you know all the avs and all the you know vics and stuff actually on the ship um so it's gonna it's kind of a like it was kind of like a long wait but you know it was finally it finally came time you know pick up all the stuff bring it on ship and uh that's a process guys you're gonna be tired after doing that if you ever have to do a mute bring all that stuff up there because it's really it's really tight in it it's like tight quarters in there um and it's it's honestly a struggle having to you know you're happy you have it on your flag you got your main pack a salt pack you got a sea bag you have to carry all that stuff and sometimes even your weapon systems you got to carry all that you know up these uh flights of stairs and all this stuff up up all these ramps and stuff so you're gonna be pretty exhausted you're gonna get up there like i said it's really tight knit so everyone's stuff's gonna be everywhere you're not gonna be able to move around that much people are like uh people are trying to claim what lockers they want if they want top middle or bottom rack but you know everyone gets all that figured out then you get to unpacking your stuff and then after that day you're just completely just exhausted and you just go to sleep and then you wake up and then like um, you know, it's time for you're actually on deployment, and you know you're there to you know do your job. Ultimately, as a United States Marine, and it, it makes you feel good. You're like, dang, I'm I finally you know I'm on deployment. I'm you know I'm serving my country. I'm like my country's like nine one one call. I'm, if I ever have to do anything, I'm ready to do it now. I've been training for this moment, and here I am. But uh, I'm not gonna lie, ship life. Uh, I don't want to say it sucks, but it's just different because uh, you don't have Wi-Fi. You don't have any of that. Um, it's because there's so many people, you know, on the ship, like to the chow lines is pretty long. Um, then you go outside, you know, you want to get some fresh air and then, you know, you see the same scene every single day. It's just the blue, vast ocean. Like you might see a dolphin every once in a while, a sea turtle, you know, maybe a fish or maybe some seaweed. But other than that, it's going to be the same thing every day. It's kind of like deja vu every day. It's just the same routine. So it's just 
rinse, wash, repeat. Um, it, but there is stuff to do on ships, so you definitely can watch movies, play video games. You know, you can always do classes, read books. And they also have a gym on there, so uh, I was going to the gym uh, like twice a day. So I would go to, I would wake up, I would go to breakfast, and then I would go to the gym. Then I might get some classes, and then you know I go to lunch, and then I go to the gym again. Then I take a shower, and then I go to dinner, and then I like go back to like um, like the living area, the birthing, and I'll like watch movies or play video games or just sleep. But other than that, there's really nothing else to do. Um, you are able to call home um, at certain times. There's like uh, these pay phones like on the ship. Uh, so you go buy like this card and it's, you type in, you know, the pin and all that. And you can, you know, call home. But so I think we were on ship for maybe, I want to say a month or so before we actually got our first port. And when you get to your first port, it's like land, yes, land. And you're like people don't necessarily go crazy or go wild, but you know, people are definitely rushing to get to the first spot that has Wi-Fi or like um, the first port we went to was Malta, so they had a McDonald's. So everyone was like rushing there, but you know, it's really cool experiencing the cultures, the different cultures. Uh, that's a cool part of being on the view. You get to go to so many different countries and experience so many different cultures, and it is it is really cool, it, and it humbles you a lot to see how different you know people live in different countries and makes you, you know, really grateful for what you have back here in America. And, you know, it, it really is, it was a humbling experience of seeing how different ways uh, people have to live and, you know, how we're definitely more fortunate than other countries are. And like I said, it just makes you really grateful. But yeah, so you, I was at, I was in Malta, you know, you, you have fun with your boys and all that. You go bar hopping, you do all that stuff. And then, you know, you're only there for a couple of days, so you have to get back on ship. And like I said, it's the same routine. It's rinse, wash, repeat type thing. It's like deja vu until you get to the next port. And then you get to the next port, you do the same exact thing. You experience the culture, uh, might go sightseeing or bar hopping or whatever you want to do. Experience just the food life, go shopping, whatever. But you're going to get back on ship. Uh, at the same time but don't get confused like this wasn't like a cruise or like um people like refer to it like most muse as a booze cruise it's, it's not it's not what it is like i said you're ultimately still there to um serve a purpose you're still there serving your country you have a job so you're still united states marine so if you know something happens you're still that you know that on-call thing you're you're gonna go and handle whatever situation occurs so don't uh, get in the mindset on the point that you're there to have fun. You still need to have that, you know, marine mindset of, you know, if I have to do my job at any point in time, then I need to do it. But that's basically how deployment was. And I, I'm not gonna lie, the best feeling was when, you know, the captain got over the intercom. He was like, all right, guys, we're going back home. This is the home stretch, uh, you know, and all that stuff. And he was like, yes, yeah, going back to America. I'm so ready to go home. Um, and it's it's kind of weird because you go through so many time zones if you go on a mute or just on deployment in, in general you go through so many time zones so your sleep schedule is really messed up but yeah so you go back home um, you see your family there waiting for you or your friends or whatever holding up signs and it's a great feeling and you, you get on land you get on American soil you like want to kiss the ground you're like yes America I'm back home and then you know um, you'll go back you know to the barracks you unload all the stuff and then you have about a week or two uh, back in the rear, you know, doing admin stuff, getting everything, you know, back to, you know, the unit, getting unloaded and all that. And then you get to go home for post-deployment and you get to go tell your family, you know, all, you know, about how your deployment went. Go tell your friends all the stuff you did and all of that. So that's that's pretty much how a deployment goes. And then after that, it's the same thing. You get back from post-deployment leave and you, go, you get ready for the next deployment. You start your next workup. But that's basically how a deployment goes, guys. It's it's not bad, guys. So don't be scared or don't uh, be kind of like stressed out about going on deployment. It's a great time, guys. It's you'll make so many memories and all that. It's it's honestly it's awesome, guys. Going on deployment and just you know that because most people want that travel aspect and want to be able to see that different cultures when coming to the Marine Corps. And that's definitely what you get out of deployment. You definitely get to do that and experience a lot of things, guys. Hey, but guys. Please, 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 please give the video a like or leave a comment down below. Let me know. Let me know if I'm if I'm progressing. Am I doing? Am I getting better? Is the content getting better? Is this content that y'all want to see? And then um, if not, then tell me the content y'all do want to see, so then I can give it out to you guys. Cause I'm here for you. I'm here to give you whatever you want from me, guys. So that's my job here on YouTube is to help y'all. I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it for y'all, guys. But guys, as always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.